just going into your third game with the with the cheekbone, you know, you're getting more confident with uh, with each game, especially with the mask on. Um, I was confident from the first game, to be honest. Um, you know, got back into training, and like I said, after having gone through, you know, the the rehab and all that type of stuff, and speaking with the surgeon, um, yeah, I was confident that I could make the tournament, and uh, I felt like. I've just obviously eased back in in terms of a uh, you know physicality aspect. I haven't felt you know too different. The only difference has been obviously wearing the mask and you know if it allows me to to do what I love doing in playing football, then yeah, it's an easy adjustment. Mate, a bit of a setback with the Mitch Duke injury. How's the the camp taken that? And do you think uh, whoever plays, whether it be Bruno or Cassini or somewhere else, can uh, can do the job? Yeah, don't get me wrong, obviously injuries, suspensions and all that, you know, when one of your, your players misses the game through, you know, one of those things, it's obviously unfortunate, you know, for us and them, but at the same time, it provides an opportunity for someone else. And I think that's the, the mindset you've got to have. I mean, injuries, suspensions, they happen, you know, to all teams, um, you know, in all competitions. And it's how you adjust uh, to those sorts of challenges as to, you know, how you, you go about it. and. You know, the better that we can adjust and the individuals, you know, they get the opportunity by, you know, filling, uh, filling that void now. Um, you know, it's, it's up to them to, to come in and, um, you know, show what they can do for the side. And, you know, we've got full confidence in them that they can come in and, and slot in like, um, you know, we're not missing too much. No way. I mean, what are you expecting from um, Uzbekistan? Obviously, you know, uh, you guys have had a solid start. Two wins, two more clean sheets. I mean, you know, I guess they're going to be a bit more attacking. Um, do you think that they'll open up the game for, for, for sort of, you know, for uh, for your team a bit more? Um, you know, we're expecting a tough, tough contest. I mean, in my experiences in professional football, you know, there's there's no easy games and. You know, that's what we've experienced until now. And you look across the competition and, you know, plenty of the other opposition here uh, at the tournament have, have also struggled. You know, some of the guys with the, the big uh, big tags and, um, you know, the favourites to, to win the tournament, that you know, they've also struggled in games. And I think that's testament to the level of competition, um, you know, that has been provided here at the Asian Cup so far. And I guess, yeah, focusing obviously on Uzbekistan, we're expecting a, a tough game. Um, you know, with what we've looked at from an analysis point of view, um, you know, we know that they're going to be organised, they're going to be united again. Um, you know, that was the experience we had playing them last time as well. And, um, you know, we're going to obviously have to be on top of our game in order to go out there and get the result that we, we're after. Mate, what about the run of clean, run of clean sheets? What's been the key to that? Yeah, I mean, the togetherness of the team is, has always been the backbone and, you know, we, we always say that our first defender is our striker and, you know, our first attacker is our goalkeeper. So, you know, it's a collective effort all over the field and, you know, even the guys that don't get, you know, the starting position, you know, come that match day, um, you know, to achieve the feats that we do. We know that we push one another in the training to, you know, keep the competitions for spots fierce and, you know, we keep everyone sharp and on their toes. And, you know, for me, that's that's a key component to being a successful side. And, you know, credit to the boys and their mentality in, in being able to, you know, um, continue to, you know, provide that day in, day out. And, um, you know, I feel that's the, you know, the, the biggest component to us having our success over here so far. What do you made of the, the depth of the of the goalkeeping stocks in like Australia, you've got uh, Gauchi and Lawrence Thomas uh, with you over there, and then there's a couple, couple of the other guys, maybe you know Maynard, Maynard Brewer and uh, Paulizo, and I think you know, of course, you know Red is still. Do you think there's that our depth is strong? Yeah, I mean the depth, you know, during my time here at the national team has always been strong. You know, I've got a tremendous amount of. You know, respect for all the goalkeepers that you know I've, I've been involved with in my time here in the national team. We've all got a great, uh, great working relationship. We all respect one another. Um, you know, we all push one another to be the best that we can be. And you know, unfortunately, it's a position that obviously only one can play at the end of the day. But um, you know, it's down to us as individuals to be ready to make the most of those opportunities when they come along. And um, you know, it, just the, the personalities that we all are. You know, we make it enjoyable to come in here and and work towards that common goal of making the national team the best that it can be. And, 
you know, seeing how, how and where we can get as individuals along the way. And um, I think it's a healthy environment. And Matty, what's the, I mean, you were in Qatar, you know, just over a year ago with the World Cup squad. What's the, is there a different feeling with this, with this squad in terms of, you know, obviously you guys were a favourite for this, like, tournament. What's the sort of, what's the, what's the feeling in, in like, camp? Uh, the feeling, you know, is never too different no matter the personnel that's in here. We're an ambitious group, you know, we, we have tremendous amount of self-belief and self-confidence that we can, you know, be successful as a football team and, you know, this tournament is no different. You know, we, we set the goal, you know, long before coming in here that we want to come and win this tournament, just like we did in 2015 and, you know, we're all buying into that and doing what we can and leaving no stone unturned in, in making sure that we give ourselves the best possible chance in order to go out and do that. Hey Matty, how's uh, how's um, how's Kevin Jones going? I guess he's a he's a new face in the uh, back four there. I guess it takes a bit of time to sort of adjust, but sort of how have you rated his uh, performances? Yeah, I mean, since coming in, I think he's um, he's done really well. He, he, you know, first and foremost, he's embraced the culture in which we we set and you know we pride ourselves on here within the national team. Um, you know, obviously a few boys know him. You know, from um, you know, playing there in, in the UK as well and yeah, he's obviously someone that, um, you know, from, from the get-go has embodied all the characteristics that, you know, we, we want to have in terms of personnel within the squad here and in terms of his qualities on the pitch, he's obviously a, a robust type of uh, right back, he's, he's not afraid to be aggressive and get forward and I think his performances have been quite strong, you know, considering it's his first time playing with, you know, a, a lot of us and, um, yeah, he, I feel like he's uh, he's building um, into the tournament really nicely. Yeah, I guess because that position was one that was sort of up for grabs going into the tournament, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, you know, every position is always up for grabs. You know, that's what it is here within the national team. No one ever takes for granted being here and no one is ever entitled to the position. You have to come in day in, day out and earn the right to, you know, represent our great country and represent this great team. And, you know, that's what makes it so special playing for your national team. and. You know, it's that sort of mindset which, you know, also enables us to, you know, make the most of, of what we can as a national team, you know, in, in terms of, you know, making us as, uh, the best team that we can be. And, you know, you've got to make sure that you're, you're at the top of your game in order to, you know, be, be getting out on that pitch. And, um, yeah, that's, like I said, one of the key components to, to what uh, really fuels us and really uh, allows us to be, the, you know, as successful as we can be. Hey Matty, uh, 31 clean Thank sheets you. for you now for the Socceroos, six in a row for this team. Just talk to us about the importance of of that and how you've done uh, to work, what you've done to work on that over the last uh, few months. Yeah, I mean, Arnie was you know my first ever full professional coach, and you know probably the biggest thing that ever stands out from what I remember him saying back in those days is that you know goals win your games and clean sheets win your championships, and that's something that's really stuck with me and. Yeah, my experiences in football, you know, I feel that that, you know, that quote is, you know, you know, ever present and ever true on a on a daily basis. And um, you know, if if you go into a game and you know, worst case scenario, you keep a clean sheet, then you know, the worst result you're going to have is a nil or a draw. So, you know, I'm I'm confident that if we can obviously continue that trend of um, you know being defensively resolute and. Um, you know, getting those clean sheets, then, you know, I've got tremendous faith in the boys going forward as well that, you know, we're going to create opportunities and we're going to, you know, at least put one goal in the back of the net and at the end of the day, then that's enough to get the result that we desire. You know, we're obviously in tournament football and, and winning is, you know, the most important thing and, um, you know, we've, we're off to a good start, but, you know, we feel we've got plenty more to offer and, and to build on and, um, yeah, we're, we're working hard uh, to do that. You're one of uh, three players that played against Uzbekistan at the last Asian Cup game, which finished nil-nil, and then Australia won in a penalty shootout. What are your reflections of, of that moment? Yeah, a uh, pretty special one for obvious reasons. Uh, penalty shootout for your national team, and you know, coming out the other side, you know, triumphant is, you know, something as a goalkeeper, you, you know, you, you're going to have fond memories of. Um, yeah, I remember it being a tight contest, um, both teams being defensively well organised and I don't think there was too many clear-cut chances within the match but um, yeah, obviously it was the, the knockout stages of the Asian Cup and you know, I was uh, thankfully with the help of um, yeah, my teammates and, and Vukra on the sideline giving me the signals for the penalties and whatnot, um, you know, we were able to 
uh, yeah, come through in that moment for the team and, and progress on to the, the next game. And um, yeah, it'll definitely be something that I'll never forget. And just a final one, the fact that there were only three players that started that game uh, here today, it talks to how much regeneration I suppose there is of this squad. How important has that been in, in the development and maturity of, of this team? I think it's an example of the evolution of the team, you know. Arnie's always been someone that's, you know, blooded players and pulled them from, yeah, nowhere, so it seems, you know, and, and all of a sudden, you you know, the, these sorts of players that he, he goes and finds and gets in here and, and gets the best out of them only obviously create de creates depth, depth for the team and, um, you know, makes us as, as strong as that we can be. So, um, yeah, like you said, to, to have the squad that we have here today, even you know, comparing to 12 months in, in Qatar at the World Cup last time, um, you know, it's testament to Arnie as a manager and you know, it's testament to the boys that are in here now that they've obviously been doing well at their clubs to you know, warrant their selection being in here. And like I said, we've got big amb ambitions to you know, want to be the most successful team that you know, we can be and we want to continue to, you know, to do our great nation proud. And, uh, and yeah, that's the challenge we're facing here at the moment with this tournament. And yeah, we're here to win it. And you know, that's the clear ambition that everyone is on the same page with. And uh, yeah, we've got the next step of that process coming up uh, tomorrow with the game against Uzbeks. Yeah, thanks, mate. I just, meant, I, I just meant to ask you before, how's life in Holland? You know, you've been there for a while now, having moved around a bit, bit sort of before that. Do you think you'll you'll stay there for like a while now? Are you happy to, you know, you know, you know, like stay there? Or would you like to move again in sort of upcoming years? Yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time thus far in Holland, playing that regular football again in a in a strong competition, and you know we've had some some great moments along the way in the you know the Conference League last season as well, and within the league over the both seasons as well. And uh, you know as things currently stand, I'm off contract at the end of this season, so you know what the future ha you know has in store, I'm not too sure, and and that uncertainty you know is exciting also, but. Uh, you know, I'm just taking one, you know, one day as a, you know, at a time, and each day as it comes, and uh, just trying to do the best I can do, and sort of see where it takes me. I mean, that's the approach I felt that um, I've sort of had my whole career, and I know, you know, if I'm doing the best that I can each day, then you know, I trust, you know, my journey through life, and things will will sort of take care of themselves. And uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying football, and um, you know, being here with the Socceroos first and foremost, and. Uh, yeah, like I said, um, when I get back over there, I'll, I'll continue to do the best that I can and see where I can help Alkmaar finish this season. And yeah, the rest will, will sort of sort itself out. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.